Hello everyone. Uh, show you where our current status is on the machine. Um, first off, I'd like to talk a little bit about the uh, carriage bolts that we get with the uh, kits. Basically, you have three different sizes, uh, and they're basically non-standard sizes. Uh, if you look around at uh, bolt resellers, even the local hardware store, you've got uh, one here it's approximately five eighths of an inch the one in the middle is about eight hundred and fifty thousandths or say seven eighths and then this one here the longer one is about nine hundred and fifty thousandths and there's say roughly a one inch bolt really these ones aren't uh, really used for much in the way of the assembly um, they may have been included to allow you to use them in the uh, cross members to hold down material um, and I found out that the ones in the middle are very critical to attaching um, your rack clamps and your center clamps and you gotta make sure you have enough of them these ones are way too short and these ones are too long and stick up so in an earlier video when I was showing the assembly of the base one of the bags uh, had the various bolts that I thought went to these and I ended up with some long ones and some short ones but the reality is that all of these for all of the uh, angle brackets should be short um, there was another bag that I found that had all short bolts in it which I'm assuming maybe that was the one for the angular brackets and then the bigger bag had a mixture of short bolts intermediate sizes, and the middle size and the longer sizes uh, along with another bag of the uh, button heads now the button heads were also in the other bag, the first bag that I opened up that I used for doing the assembly of the base um, so there's a whole new a whole separate set of button heads and the only place the button heads are used are on the cross members to assemble to the base so you've got four rack clamps for each axis and you need um, eight bolts for each set and so you got three sets so that's 24 uh, just for the rack clamps and then you also need them for the center spacers here and there are five of them so that's another 10 uh, that you need so that's like 34 of these ones here that are roughly 850 thousandths or say seven eighths of an inch um, so what I ended up doing is uh, it was kind of a twofold thing I wanted to add these in here because that's what I'm going to use to bolt to my two by sixes and these were extra ones that were uh, added to the kit that they showed them out on the front for extending out your material because you will have reach over with your spindle uh, towards the front so that being said, um, you know, all your angle brackets should have uh, short bolts in them. And you want to make sure that you have enough because I ended up having to actually uh, remove my cross members and taking some of the these bolts here out uh, so that I had enough for my rack clamps uh, at the end. So, uh, very important that you look at that. Make sure you have at least 34 of these just for your rack clamps and for your center clamps on your uh, y-axis rails so with that said we'll uh, move on to what we have accomplished so far here I'm preparing on this side uh, to add the gear rack now I'm mounting my mechanism so that the um, gear pulley is facing the front of the machine so what we're going to do is we're going to mount the gear rack basically flush with the end of the machine so there's your gear rack and there's your rack clamp uh, and that'll give you the appropriate travel for your x-axis front to back um, and here basically I've got it set up and I show you how I use the clamps then to uh, pull the rack clamp uh, the rack up into the rack clamps and then uh, finish tightening down the bolts so I'm about ready to uh, finish up this other side then I'll be done with uh, the racks on the system. Um, 
basically the spacing is is the rack clamp is 54 inches so you'll have it one bracket flush to this side and then 54 inches uh, down at the other end is where you'll have the end of the last clamp and then the spacing in between the other two is basically you're going to have 14 inches between each one and that'll that'll space it out equally uh, so you know for instance even up up here the distance from this side to uh, that side of the next rack clamp is exactly 14 inches the other thing uh, with the uh, gear racks what you want to do is take some rags clean them up real good because there is some uh, dirt and so forth on them um, and what I've done is I've taken a, uh, a newer brush <clears throat> now this one I have a little bit of grease on but I, I basically sprayed the racks down with WD-40 and cleaned them up again with a rag to make sure I get all the dirt out and then uh, before I applied any grease I basically went through and brushed out all the gears to make sure that uh, there was no dirt in them you don't necessarily have to grease these if you get WD-40 on them uh, you're probably good now I stayed away from your normal greases because uh, they tend to coagulate and gummy get gummy after a period of time what I like to use and I whole trick I used to use in building engines is instead of using like cam lube and so forth I used a white lithium grease white lithium mixes well with oils and tends to break down uh, fairly evenly doesn't like to coagulate and it, it's just my choice you don't have to and again what I did is I just lightly applied some to a brush and brushed it in just so enough I just so I have enough coverage that there's a film uh, a film of the lithium grease then on the gears and uh, that's that's my choice of course but you can do what you want um, so we're about ready to finish up the rack clamps and then I'll be able to finish up the uh, motor assemblies and then um, basically all the mechanicals will be done now the issue also with the uh, 80, mil 80 millimeter spindle mount that I got um, it didn't have any mounting brackets to actually mount it uh, to the machine so what I did is I went out and I got myself a piece of steel it is one eighth, one eighth of an inch thick by half an inch wide and I cut off two three inch pieces uh, then put in centered in and spaced apart inch and a half uh, and drilled some holes and then I tapped in some uh, 5 16 18 threads um, I'd like to have a little bit more thread but this is kind of a temporary thing because I'm planning on making a separate type of adapter system later on but there's two and a half a two and a quarter turn threads in there so it should be good enough to hold us for a while um, in, in essence then what it does is it goes down in to the, the bolt heads go in here and then this will slide up inside I already have one attached in here holding it up I left the other one out for show and tell and the bolts that I used are socket head cap screws 5 16 18 thread and they're half an inch long uh, you might be able to get away with 5 h 3 quarter or way too long I already tried it it bottoms out and you can't tighten it down so the uh, half inch thread length was just right to get it in there and tighten it down so that's where we stand with a spindle mount I'll get that finished up and I will finish up uh, putting on the rest of the rack clamp on that one side finish putting on the racks and then finish putting on the motors and then uh, we'll move on to some electronics thanks for watching